this example, we're going to use civil sales to create a roundabout. So we move in to place our civil sale. We see the library and we select the civil sale that we're going to place. And we're going to place the uh, interior area of our roundabout. So we place that. We can see that placed in the two dimension, uh, two dimensional view as well as the three dimensional view. Now we're going to actually modify the design model that's been created from the placement of the civil cell and remove the external curb and gutter and side slopes. So what we have left, we have the internal radius, we have the uh, apron, and we have the pavement around the circular area of our roundabout. Now we continue and we're going to select an additional or a different civil cell to model and design one of the approaches. So now as we place that civil cell, that approach civil cell, we select the relevant reference elements. Here we're selecting and snapping to the edge of pavement so it'll adjust to the width of the pavement. We can see the placement that, that will be uh, done and we accept that placement. Now as we watch, the approach is now modeled and placed in our roundabout model and we'll continue using the same civil cell on the western side of the roundabout. Again, we select the relevant reference elements follow through the prompts and accept the placement of that approach into our roundabout. We see it modeled in three dimensions. Now we're going to, we've selected a separate entrance for our northern uh, entrance into the roundabout. Again, we're selecting the appropriate reference elements. We can see the pre-layout of what will be constructed and then we accept that so that the model element is constructed. And we can see the roundabout being constructed on the right-hand view in the three-dimensional design model. We continue using the same civil cell on the south side of the roundabout, again selecting relevant elements, the center line, the edges of pavement, and then we click through the prompts to place that element in the model. Now we've placed all of the approaches in the roundabout as well as the circular area. Now we can continue to model this. In this example, we could use linear templates, for example, and we can fill in with curb and gutter and sidewalk in that area between uh, the western and the southern approaches. So constructing this design model, this roundabout model, um, is quite direct and quite easy. We'll see the curb and gutter and the side slopes modeled in the design model on the right.